Okay, so we're a slow reader, so this is going to suck. We're going to spend a couple of days reading most of these. And then it's about the the order. So I guess we'll read Herbalist immediately. Now, next time we forage, we can actually eat the stuff. Do I have any... Oh, there's a fresh berry. And we did have some poisonous mushrooms. Nice. Yes, we did get that out of the garbage bin. This is the apocalypse. Sue me. Okay, so... If I spend a couple of days reading books, we're probably going to lose water or power. Which could be a problem. Okay, so we're just going to sit out here. Oh, I don't have a mod to sit on chairs. <laughs> Lol. Uh, it's nice and picturesque. And zombies going to sneak up us, on us from one way. Um, and let's just start smashing our books. So, uh, carpentry. Let's get the carpentry stuff done first. Out of water. So I, I don't think you get um I don't think you get any pamphlets for like sitting and reading while exhausted, so we're probably just gonna stay up for a couple of days reading books. We still actually don't have a lot of food here. Anyway, so if we stay inside, we'll get bored. If we sit right here, we won't get bored. Somewhat silly mechanic. I kind of get what they're doing, but I really don't think it would. Um, I don't think it would diminish the game to just remove that entirely, as it's currently implemented. We should probably go break some, some of those crates in the warehouse. I don't think we're going to go anywhere today because we're tired. But let's see what books we can read and fill up in. Foraging 2 we could read. Farming 1 we could read. So we'll read the farming book, we'll read the foraging book. And then we'll try to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow we'll head out and try to get carpentry to level 4 by doing some deconstruction. And then we can come back, read the carpentry book, and try to grind up to build some stairs. Okay, so we're going to head out and... Oh, I think we've got a beard. Uh, we're going to head out and break some crates. Again, keep an eye out, some of these bodies might get up as we go past them. He saw us from a good way away. So we could break furniture in any of these houses, but in the warehouse seems a better way to do it. Uh, let's go check that intersection. Okay. Again, keeping out for these bodies to get up off the ground. Oh. Well, there's some zombies there. They're just in a bit of a strange spot. Now, it's always slightly risky coming in a window like that. these corpses first, give them a chance to stand up on us. Nope, looks good. Okay, let's close these. This guy. 
Okay, now in theory this I could sustain it while we're working, but... Now I could shovel these zombies into a crate, in fact. Yes, they usually only pop up if you walk near them. Well, usually, I think that's how it's set up. But really only this guy is probably close enough to us to be a problem. But disassembling things to get your skill up is better than wasting materials actually building stuff. There's a few things we want to build, like we'll build a composter, we'll build uh, a water collector. I guess I'll have to go check if I have enough garbage bags. I think I do. I, I was collecting garbage bags at the start. I'm usually pretty careful with that. Or let's say I'm, I'm somewhat obsessive with it. Okay, so it looks, I think it's the yeah, three that break line of sight. Let's make sure these guys don't get up on us. So we wouldn't want to board off all of these windows because you want um, although this room is big enough that if a horde did come in here and attack you... Hey, I'm not sure what alerted me to that. God damn, fake dead, I love it. I think it's a great mechanic. Yeah, I think I think I might have flashed my eyes up to the Moodles again and, as a panic hit. Okay, so I don't want to break any more of these crates. Don't work unless you're being paid. Don't, um... Break furniture unless you've got the skill book read. Well, that fog's coming in quick. Oh, this is really blowing. Oh, I'll put that in the wrong spot. That'll trigger me. It's fine. Um, yeah, actually, I'll plan as much of the stuff as I can, because it's all... Uh, it'll all give us skill points. Uh, it'll all give us new seeds. Uh, it'll all give us compost. Like this just... The, the worst thing that could happen is we sort of, well, we go get bitten and die, and I mean, that's quite obvious. Uh, but other than that, the worst thing that could happen is we somehow get so distracted that we uh, leave these things to rot and don't um, get them out of the ground when they're seed bearing. Uh, you know, that would be ridiculously unlikely. Now, do I have a radio in here? I probably have some, yeah. Let's see if we can set a radio up and... I mean, I doubt this has the emergency broadcast on it, but it's possible. Uh, no, it does not have the emergency broadcast on it. Okay, so that's not going to help. I'll just check if we have any others. Is that just probably electrical? Electronics, okay, got nothing there. We do have a spare light bulb in case it comes up. Uh, we'd like to do something about that beard, but we... I'm pretty sure we need... Actually, is this a mirror? I think this is a mirror. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a, just a white square on the wall, but... I guess I believe that's a mirror. Okay, there we go. Harris McLean is McLean shaven again. So this carpentry book will let us rank up to a point where we can build some stairs, put the stairs up on the roof, whack up a water barrel, and then we have uh, an infinite source of fresh water. The crops give us an infinite source of fresh food, as long as we don't screw it up. We can forage in the island as well. So then we're sort of stable. So we'd probably call that the end of Act 2. Now first the panicky flight from your starting house. Now we're setting up our first safe house then probably guns actually oh no car 
still even as a Sunday driver, a basic car is still probably something we want. Um, I've been a good storm around here in ages. Okay, so again, we really want to go back and break up some crates. But we sort of need to now... Well, we don't need to wait for this weather to go, but it would be wise to do so. Hey, I think that was the new your power is out noise. We should probably cook that beef at least. Okay, let's not burn the house down accidentally. Cooking the bugs because you, you actually get skill for it still. Although we haven't actually read our skill book. Ridiculously tired. Disinfect bandages, there we go. That's just something we never got around to doing. Okay, so we've got tons of plants in the ground outside. Um, why don't I have another weapon on my belt? Oh! Oh, I probably left that knife in a zombie somewhere. Well, that would be very silly of me. I don't remember shanking a zombie, not successfully. <laughs> okay, we've got a couple of hours. An eye out for repeat customers. See, I thought I heard a zombie then, but it was just the wind blowing a tree. Unless it was a zombie and I stuck it. Okay, that seemed to be being followed. Hey, with no Light, this is now more of an issue. Did I not put you two in a box? Oh, I guess you're all the way over there. These ones as well. With the Risen Dead mechanic, it's it procs quite rarely. Did I bring those planks. No, I did not. Um, I might actually need that. I don't know if we have a, a sack at all. And we will need a sack to do composting. Or so if one of those bodies move. Mm, actually, I probably should leave this one unbarricaded. Barricade all these as we can open that window. In one board is enough to significantly slow zombies down. Let's check our skills. But yeah, we did finish that carpentry book. I'm pretty sure we finished it. I think eight's the multiplier. I usually play a character with handy, so I have the one level of carpentry, which obviously makes it then level up faster. Significantly faster. I guess that's maybe why I'm always surprised when you see some with like a Eight months surviving character and they have like five levels of carpentry. Okay, so we can come back for this wood later. Take a couple of planks in case we need to board a window. It'll be wise to head home before it gets dark. Though we may have already missed that boat. still in that chair so we can sleep in here but I'm not 
sure I want to do that. Blue plastic chair, nice. Just, yeah, we, we could use that to sleep here if we really wanted to. You know, that seems silly when our house is so close. But it is going to be dark out there. I suppose it's also going to be dark in here. Oh, fucking zombie. Piece of shit scared the crap out of me. Do I have a flashlight? No, I don't think I do. Okay, we'll go around, we'll see if we can... Actually... No, I don't think we will. Looks like we might have okay lighting outside anyway. In that case, maybe we'll take him out before he... Uh, ...unnecessarily damages our fortifications. Watching these zombies so they don't get up behind us. I think it's still on that fire, but don't want to mess with fire. So now we want to get home without getting followed by anything. I don't remember if I have cat's eye or if we're just lucky that the, the moon is pretty good tonight. I'm not going to be able to check if there's anything following us, so we may have to shoot some stuff off here in the morning. Okay everybody, I'm going to leave it here. Hope you're enjoying the run. If you've made it this far and you're not subscribed to the channel, maybe consider doing that. Either way, I'll see you in the next one. You have a great day.